Alright, so this is where the magic's gonna happen. And we have the iPad over here with the instructions about removing the pedals. So we're just gonna go through the steps one by one just to be sure everything's done right. Let's get those pedals So pedals are removed. So we'll continue. Alright, so I'm about to get started with the second step, which is gluing the left sensor onto the left crank arm. It says I need, of course, the one of the sensors right there all ready to go. I'm going to need my sandpaper, my mounting tool, the glue, the alcohol wipes, and the primer wipe right there. Also, prior to doing this, I cleaned both of the crank arms, so I just got there with some uh, detergent, scrubbed those nice and clean, make sure there was no grease or anything on there, and then rinsed them off with some water and wiped them down to dry them. So they should be good to go. So we're going to start going through the steps of mounting the left sensor. Alright, so I just cleaned the tops of the crank arms using the alcohol pads and then let that dry and once that was dry I got the gloves on and grabbed the primer pad and I wiped, wiped the top of the crank arms on both sides. Now the key here and this is just kind of a known brainer because it tells you over and over and over again that whenever you work on your crank arm you always need to make sure that crank arm is facing the rear wheel. So I finished with the right side that's why the left side is facing forward. So we go over here You can see that there you go crank arm is facing backwards to the rear wheel and we work on the top so now i'm just waiting 15 minutes for that primer to dry and then we'll be going on to the next step of gluing on the sensors all right here we are using the alignment tool from power beat so we can see it's screwed into the crank arm through the over the pedal and you want to maximize contact and keep See the blue lines? Right there. These lines need to be in the middle. So it's just about right. So I think so. So that's what we're going to go with. So I've already waited 15 minutes after putting on the primer. So now we're going to continue on to actually installing the sensor. But that's it all set up with. Comes back to the same spot every single time. You see that? Cool. All right. And notice crank arm is facing the rear wheel. Alright. Alright, so I just I had to uh, take the sensor, scrape it or rub it on the sandpaper, put it into the tool, wipe it with an alcohol pad, make sure it all aligned properly still, and then I covered the whole surface of the uh, of the sensor with with the glue. The glue and then I dropped it back down into the place making sure the wire wasn't in the way and then pushed down ma making sure it was in the correct position and held it there for 30 seconds and now we're on the countdown of five minutes before I pull the tool off all right my five minutes is up for my right side my crank arm so I'm just gonna lift this guy up right here careful just to lift it straight up it should come off um, they do recommend making sure that this is in the small chain ring just to, so you don't have to worry about hitting your in the derailleur or anything like that and then it says you want to check out and just just check and make sure that there's glue surrounding those whole thing so that it becomes one with it so I don't know if it's a big deal or not I'm gonna put some glue I did this on the other one right there on the end um, everything else looks really good but I'm going to add some glue right there on the tip. Like I said, I, there was no glue on the tip on the left side when I did it. But I just added it there. Why not, right? So I'm going to add this glue. And then I have to wait 24 hours. So um, I'll post this video tonight. And I'll post another one tomorrow. But one last thing I want to show you is that over here, I just plugged in my... I just plugged in the chargers over here. Or the the comp units so there you are um, it's a USB charger um, I'm just using my Garmin 
wall adapter. I don't know. It doesn't come with a wall adapter. So you probably use your computer or any other USB charger that you can find to plug into the wall. But I know they do say make sure that when you plug it in, you push it all the way in to make sure they charge. And it's going to take 24 hours to charge these the first time. So um, get them started right when you're done gluing, and then they'll be fully charged once you're ready to calibrate. So 24 hours. They're blinking and they're charging. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed this kind of installation. So tomorrow we'll be plugging these guys in and uh, calibrating.